Not many people have the ambition or motivation for something that pushes your body to the absolute breaking point and then drives to push it more. Not many people will go to the physical lip capabilities and call it fun. Not many people would do this before anything else. That is why I'm a cyclist. I've done this for so many years now. I started properly racing when I was six. Starting at such a young age, just I haven't really thought of anything different. It just happens every day. Going to uni, I cycle there. I've got a little town bike that I just lock up outside my house quickly in the morning, unlock it, sprint to uni, get there within five minutes. Doesn't matter if I wake up a bit late, I can make up a bit of time. Just, it's just, just works out perfectly for me. I do mechanical engineering at uh, Portsmouth. It's quite a long course, I do 20 hours of uh, work a week. But it's something that I enjoy and it kind of links into my cycling a bit just because of the technical aspect of the bike and all the design that goes into them. It's something that I would be interested in going into. Having bikes in my room, it's, it's quite, I like it just because I can have them close to me and near where I can see them and uh, make sure they're all right. I had to um, buy, buy new things recently from site. So for, for my cycling, such as glasses that are well, 155 quid, and that's not it's not it's not cheap cheap item. Again, with the helmet and things, they're around five six hundred pounds, so they're a big 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 spend if I need to do it. Basically, if I can cycle, I'll definitely do that over driving or getting a bus or public transport anywhere. Training at uni can um, can be quite a hard task to get when you get back from a six o'clock jumping on the bike and getting out. It's not the easiest of tasks, but um, it's it's good to have the gym close where I can just go down there, jump on an exercise bike or lift some weights. It's not too bad. And there's lots of different leg exercises, arm exercises, or core exercises that I can do. Having a having a coach really helps that because uh, they give me a training plan which I obviously fit into my timetable at uni. I push myself quite hard, I reckon. There are a couple of days where I struggle to get on the stairs. You have a bit jelly legs, but you just got to get through it, push through. And I enjoy going to the gym, enjoy cycling. So at the end of the day, it's all worth it. First race I ever did, I was a South East champion. Moving through that, I've done all the National Series events. Racing, won a National Series when I was younger. Um, I've been ranked first in England and pretty close to the top, top 50 every year since. Big major crash when I was ha I had about three years ago was uh, I was in a race, um, collided with another guy and uh, came off and dislocated my hip. That was probably the worst injury I've ever had, a World Cup cyclocross event. Uh, this was a massive learning curve for me, but I, I learned that it was just brilliant to race against the best people in the world. I'll cherish that forever. The early season race just outside of Portsmouth was a massive aim for me. When I didn't get in, I was super gutted. I mean, the racing is just the funnest part of cycling for me. I just, that's the reason I train, it's the reason I go, go out on my bike. When I went to, when I went to ro watch the race, it, um, it hit me again because I wanted to, wanted to be on that start line and watching everyone else warming up. And I was just stood there, it really, really didn't, didn't feel natural. I wanted to be out there doing it. and the atmosphere, everything around there, it just felt like a race that I should be in. To get rejected was it just, just hurt a lot. It really hit me hard because I've never ever been rejected from a race before and they, they, to get rejected from this first time, first race and uh, this late in my career, it was quite, it was quite daunting. So uh, at the race, me and my uh, friend Max from uni, we were following the uh, convoy of cars around just to uh, have an idea of the pace that they were setting, make sure we could set the same pace and uh, also to get the changes in speed dialed for it ready for when uh, we do race later on in the season. Uh, I 
will be entering some more races at the same, same level, hoping to uh, achieve these, get in. I'm setting a good result. I hope to get some podium finishes later on in the season and uh, climb the categories and um, really finish it off on a high. My name's David Barnes and I'm a cyclist.